This decision is fundamentally wrong. This decision will affect everyone, but the impact will fall hardest on those who already face barriers to care. Black and brown women, So I'm angry. I I'm angry as hell today. This decision is one of the worst Supreme Court decisions in our lifetimes. This decision doesn't change the fact that abortion is still health care and people will still need to access it. This decision will affect those who live in rural areas or have lower incomes and can't afford to cross state lines for care, young people. The Supreme Court has now greenlit forced pregnancy, taking away freedom for pregnant people to, to make this intensively personal decision for themselves and give it away to politicians. Every situation and every pregnancy is different. And we should trust people. We should trust women, not politicians, to, to, to make their own decisions about their health and their lives. This ruling doesn't end with abortion. Justice Alito writes in his opinion that, that overturning Roe v. Wade and, and Casey should be used to invalidate the entire idea of a right to privacy. And so that means that this Supreme Court is comfortable overturning the constitutional right to marriage equality, the right to use contraceptives, and the very right for same-sex couples to have relationships. It's, it's, it's now going to be a state-by-state -state fight to get people the care that they need. And despite this disastrous decision, we're going to continue working for reproductive justice and equality and enshrine the bodily autonomy of women and parents in the law.